This program is intended for mature audiences. Parental discretion is advised. What's up, guys? It's your boy Bill Cabins bringing you another video today. Uh, we got Mike going off again at me, Everyday PJ, um, everybody that's making videos about him. Let's get right into it. You can tell this soft ass nigga in the bottom of his bitch ass heart, he knows this the truth. I said, when you stop using my name in the videos, bitch ass nigga, first of all, I told him stop mentioning my name. What he, and I said, when you do mention me, nigga, you gotta mention me as the biggest hater. If I'm, if I'm, if y'all not, y'all gotta believe me when I say this shit. I said, when you make a video about. Mike never said that at all. We, we don't give a. Look, we don't care about nothing that you're talking about. We don't care how many people you robbed, how many people you stole from, how many drugs you sold. We don't care about that, Mike. You're not intimidating me. I'm like, Ray, don't say my name. I checked on first of all and said, stop using my name. Never and happened. then I said, what's it called? When you use it, nigga, at least say the biggest hater, nigga, if you want some views. Now he gave me titles to my videos. Yeah, that makes sense. Niggas not going to click on your name on your video because of Mike Ray. I tricked them niggas into making videos with saying my name. Because I knew what goes up, nigga. Niggas did it before. CJL32's biggest hater trying to be saved by accident. I'm like, damn. Maybe if they use those titles, maybe they get more views. And I told that nigga that like I'm going live. Like, nigga. <coughs> you Mike ain't never addressed me before this. So I don't even know what he talking about. But let's continue. Stupid because you ain't doing nothing but make my subs go up. You give me promotion. It's going to be harder real than real niggas. I'm going to tell you that for sure. But out of all the views, you see them niggas came over here and subscribed to my channel. Because one out of five of them, like, I see what this nigga's saying. I no, see he what he's doing. Nah. No. And they going to fuck with a real nigga at the end of the day. They going to know when a nigga crying. It ain't going to take too long for you nigga, them niggas to look at your channel like... They gonna look at they they gonna look at your shit like they look at my shit, but the, they gonna weigh it out by like this nigga real, this nigga really crazy. It's more no, they not, no, they not. Here's the thing. You delete your videos, you hate on CJ on 32s, Mr. Organic, everybody. You make hate videos for about six months out of the year, and then you have a mental breakdown. You delete all your videos, and then you come back what four to five days later? Um, and then you make a positive video saying that you're going to change your ways and the devil made you make all those videos. And then the next video, the next day, you, you're back to the negative shit. So it's a recurring cycle. And then you're going to de delete all your videos again and go through the same cycle. But let's continue. Tainer. What is this? Weed or what? Weed. It's on me. Still sharing blunts in the hood with other men. I niggas bring real niggas over here. Soft ass niggas stay the fuck over there. You don't care about what you're saying, Mike. He drinking during the day. Look at his face. He said, who he talking about, chat? Look, killing his kidneys. I was breaking down the niggas that make videos about him. Everyday PJ and Bill Cabins, pretty much. <laughs> it's like they cry for our videos where they can make videos doing what they do. Like, I don't even think it's necessary to make videos about me. Like, nigga, it is necessary. You look soft. No, it, it is necessary. What, what you're not understanding is you think that you can hate on your own black community and there not be consequences. And then you think that you can bully people around. It don't work like that, Mike. You don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. I'm still going to make my videos. Every time you post, I'm going to make a reaction to it and keep my foot on your neck. Anybody, anybody being a comic, be niggas be crying when niggas be in my comment talking about CJ. We roast them. We be roasting that nigga. Like, that's yeah, a good thing. Be saying be facts. Niggas do it to me. I don't get mad. You think that shit bother CJ? I think it do, but it don't bother me because the shit niggas say about me be, it be the same shit. It does bother Mike or else he wouldn't come to the internet crying on live for sympathy. Like, niggas say shit that people are already accepting me as. Niggas accept me as the nigga that got behind on child support. Bitches still fuck me shit. You know what I mean? That shit don't stop a motherfucker from being my friend. Are you by So... He's worried about bitches fucking him. And <laughs> look at the logic, guys. He's worried about bitches fucking him when he needs to be worried about his child support. That's the main thing. I wouldn't even be friends with a person I owe child, back child support like that. Think he's so real, real, real. If you're so real, take care of your kid, man. Child support. Nigga, it takes for you to be a deadbeat. Like, oh, you a deadbeat. I'm not fucking with you. Niggas know I'm not a deadbeat. Niggas know my relationship with my daughter. So how can you let that child support outweigh what you think I like my relationship with my daughter? That's where the end. 
that's where the internet feels that I be laughing because y'all be like, damn, y'all acting like I'm not in my daughter life. Like I'm a deadbeat. I see if y'all may like, 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 I'm, like get proof that I'm a deadbeat. You feel me? The child King, support. Child support. Yes, I can get behind piece. that any day. Nigga, niggas owe taxes all the time, nigga. Niggas can get behind on taxes, get behind. I can owe the weed, man, borrowing weed sometimes. Like, nigga, let me get this zip. And let me get it one more time. Like, let me get one. I fucked up on this one or something. I need behind with the plug ball and shit. You feel me? Like, I'm a dying dip. I'm in school loans. We all going to die in dip. But that don't make me a deadbeat. You feel me? Because I actually love my daughter. And you can go watch my lives. With my but $10,000 behind in child support? 10000 I could see $500, maybe 1000 But 10000 Daughter call me. I got genuine love for her, and I want nothing but the best for her. She built like me. You feel me? So that's where y'all need to start. Like, stop believing that shit. You know what I mean? The gay shit. They say all that. I can throw on the wig. I can be spontaneous and do what I do. I know what I like. You feel me? But who is for other niggas? That's like me calling niggas gay. I would call niggas zesty and shit, but I'm not worried about what your sexuality is, nigga. You don't have to worry about it, but stop putting the misinformation out. I don't care who you are. You're not going to get dressed up in a dress and a wig and pretend that it's okay as a straight male. Look, if you into that life, just come out and say it. But don't try to be something else and then backtrack them. Well, you know, I put on a, a dress and lipstick, and but I'm not gay. And da, 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 da. It's like, come out, be yourself, and continue pushing forward. I'm not going to get on YouTube or any platform, no matter how much clout or views I might get, and put on a dress and a wig for money and views. That's what you did, Mike, not me. I'm trying to get some pussy and some money, nigga. At the end of the day, if you fucking with little ass girls or some shit, then that's, that's when we got a problem. That's some shit I don't agree with when you come down to your sexual shit. And <laughs> I don't agree with you. Not paying your child support. You see, y'all y'all missing the whole thing. He talking about CJ on 32 is taking care of his kids, but he can't take care of one. That's what we trying to get down to. One. So anything these niggas be talking about on the internet be bullshit. Oh, he's a hater. You sensitive if it's a hate. The fuck you mad because that nigga calling niggas up. Now, he don't like their videos. He making money off of this shit, nigga. <sighs> If, it, if, if, if hate was a job, they sign me up because I sure get paid for it. Hit it. Yeah, hit that shit. Like, still sharing blunts at his age. Look, this ain't no lie to cry about shit or why they talking about me. Ooh, shit, that. No. It's like, nigga, wake the fuck up, my nigga. Yeah, so, um,. His live cut off at this point, and then, you know, it goes back in. But at the end of the day, Mike, we don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. I don't care how many people you robbed, shot at. Um, I don't, we, we don't care about none of that, how many drugs you sold, Mike. We're going to keep making our reaction videos on you because you're a detriment to the black community. All you do is sit around talking about CJ on 32s when all he's doing is putting out positive content for the community. You're the opposite of that. So every time you make a reaction video, I'm going to keep my foot on your neck. You're not going to want to make any more videos by the time that we're done. So everybody get in my comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.